Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week five of the NFL season. Now, what does week five mean and why is it so special? Well, it truly gives us that small sample size where we can really make judgments on the teams we despise, but find the silver linings on our hometown favorites. Now, if you're a Swifty, and let's say you tuned into the Jets and Chiefs game last week, and during the course of the game, you came for Taylor Swift, but you also found yourself enjoying the cheers and roars of the first downs, the touchdowns, the interceptions, the back and forth of the game. And now, you and your new boyfriend are going to meet his family. Maybe his dad's a roughneck. Maybe he was in the military at some point. He sits on the chair. He has a chew in his hand at all times, and he just wants to watch the big game. Well, this is your opportunity as you stumbled upon this show. Take a couple nuggets. They're free. They're, they're yours. I'm going to give them to you. You go and bundle that thing up, put it in your back pocket. When you meet the mister, open that thing up, hand it to him like a present, and guess what? You've now been accepted by the entire family. My name is Chet Savage, and this is arguably the best gambling show of all time. This is the Slips and Picks 500. Bustin' with the Boys presents Slips and Picks 500. Led by retired Diamond Level Network marketer, Chet Savage. Money Interpreter of the Year runner-up, William Gecko. Theodore the Mule Jenkins with diversity and failing college dropouts who get no hoes. The interns. You're watching the S&P 500. Not the stock market one. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. You loaded? Fire it off. Fire yeah. it off. Let's bring the heat. Guys, I just want to make sure bring I see you. Bring the heat. I want to make sure I Bring the energy. You sure? Bring the energy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Slips and Picks 500. If you followed last week and you decided to bet with any of us, then I guarantee you're probably paying off that house right now, but that's not for me to say. Let's check in with our interns and um, get a recap on last week's NFL season. We will kick off last week's records for you. Overall, Chet on the season is 31-27-1. Gecko is 30-25-1. And the Mule is 32-20. But last week's records were something special. Chet with an impressive 8-4. Gecko with a seven and five. If he was a Nebraska fan, he would be happy because that is bowl eligible. And the mule. You cannot forget about the mule. All hail the mule. All hail the mule. We're going to be kinging him this week because he went an impressive 11 and two. That is the best record we've seen so far on Slips and Picks. As you can see, the enemy list is still behind us, and we are going to give our first official crown to the mule. Everyone give it up for the mule. The thing that I love most about the Mule taking this dub is I feel like the past four weeks, they always try to question his picks. They always try to knock him down. And here we are, week five, 11 and two. We've been cold shouldering the other two, Chet and Willie Gecko. We're gonna give them a combined team crown for both being positive. So you can sleep tight this week. You've made it off the enemy list, but no one stays off of it either. Back to you guys in the studio. Obviously we heard there from our interns that uh... Your boy had a fantastic week. Gecko, the worst of the three, but still 63%, pretty incredible. We have to give a round of applause to the meal. Quite possibly the greatest week of gambling two. the world has ever seen. <clears throat> I'm gonna start off by saying, am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? Preach. You damn right I am. If you follow the mule, you made cash today, baby. We get units. Stick with me, and you'll do good. Stick with the other guys. I'm not going to say any names. You're going to get clicks and tweets. That's all I know. Hey, that but is a wild shot. Can we talk can we talk about Can we talk about saving you on the on the Eagles? Can we talk not talk, can we talk about saving you on the Eagles? Moving moving it down the money line. Cuz they lost it. you take this. No, they, you lost right. it. I give I give I give them props. We do make good decisions together. I did not say their name, but they thought I was talking about them. At the end of the day, if you want to be like the following. mule and drive a 1987 right. Mustang on triple gold Me? 15s, you know who to follow, what? the mule. I feel like I'm in an abusive relationship right now. He goes, you heard him say something, but he thought I was talking about him, but I wasn't. I was like, oh. So who was he talking about? I'm just, I was just talking. You were talking about people in the in the atmosphere. I was talking about people in other stock markets, I, other businesses, not not my fellow oh, oh, fellow okay, partners okay, I here. But I feel like know. I might be getting gaslighted right now. I do. I don't know. No, I feel no, like my no, defenses no, no. are a little bit up, and no. I need to keep I need to keep my wits about me no. just in case something might happen no. in the future. Hey. You crushed it. You crushed it. Like 
Let's give credit where credit is due. You crushed it. We were all in the green. Let's not get it twisted. Yeah. Yeah, I did right. have a little uh, little uh, hiccup on that recap. It said I was seven and five. I was eight and four. If you follow Gecko like you think you do. Where can they find you, Gecko? Underscore Will Compton. Don't ask. That was my government name back in the day. I had to switch it to Willie Gecko. But if you follow me like you think you do, right before the Chiefs Jets kicked off, I switched that thing to Jets plus eight and a half when I saw that Taylor Swift, Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, and the entire Hollywood crew was not wearing team issued colors. We knew it'd be theatrics, but I do want to make it clear. I went eight and four that week, last week, over the weekend. Gotta love that. Let's get into our first segment, which is buy or sell. I know the first thing it says here at the top. I know we're looking at the top, but that is the game of the week. We're not gonna hit that one first. We're gonna go Ravens minus four and a half at the Steelers. Emil, you've got the hot hand right now, 11 and two after the weekend. Let's see what you got, brother. Let's see what these people are buying into early. What do you got for us? Take it from A to B. Let, let, me, let me dial in my units, 8008. One, three, five. Hey, y'all know what that is. If you pull it in, you're getting units, right? So look, we got buy, 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 or sell, sell, sell. I'm gonna buy this game this week. Ravens at the Steelers, minus four and a half. I'm going Ravens, minus four and a half. The Ravens gonna get it done. I just don't think the Steelers can get it done. And I said this once before about Watts. He is a Ferrari in the hood. He just don't belong there. So I know the Ravens gonna get this done. Again, minus four and a half. Ravens, baby. You said like Watson? That. I like how you said that, too. <laughs> a Ferrari in the hood. Yeah. That was nice. He does uh, some lines. <laughs> He's not. It's, it's like a Rolodex. Yeah, I, you know, I try. I try. I see with the, the pimping joke. I see you. <laughs> I, I peep. I peep. <laughs> what, do you, what do you got, Chet? Or Gecko? I'm tailing. I'm tailing him. I'm rolling tailing. with the mule. And I'm going, uh, I'm going Ravens. I'm going Ravens to cover. The only thing that makes me a little worried about this game is I want to say like their last five or six have been within five points. Yeah. That spread being four and a half, it might have moved, who knows. But I am going with the Ravens. The Steelers, bottom tier offense, bottom tier defense. Bottom Ravens, tier team. bottom tier team. Ravens, third down, in defense, third down in defense in the league in yards, passing points, all of it. Steelers are 4-1 in their last five, but I'm going with the Ravens. And you might be thinking, Will, what about T.J. Watt? It doesn't matter who's on the field for the Steelers. The Ravens are taking this game. They're fourth and rushing. We love it. We love it. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Very rarely do you go to a bit of a potluck where everybody brings a dish, and you go and you enjoy each dish that every individual brings. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. The meals you guys have prepared for this, this game right here, is a game that I'm tasting. If I could just take a little bit of seasoning and put it on top of yours, I'd like to talk about it a little bit more. I am going to take the Ravens at minus four and a half. And I think the Steelers are a bottom tier team. I think you brought up TJ Watt. Phenomenal football player, but when it comes to defense, is staying in his gap. He's not going to do that, and that's the reason why Lamar Jackson's going to run for all of the yards this week. Plus, Mitchell Trubisky, back in December 2022, my man, you know, top 10 pick, top 10 pick, threw three picks against the Ravens. So that man's been having nightmares all week. He saw Kenny Pickett go down. He literally thought to himself, please, God, get up. I do not want to face the Ravens next week. And for that reason, the Ravens are going to win this game by more than four and a half points. Let's go to Eagles. At Rams, the Eagles are going to be favored at minus four and a half. I will take this one first. I love the Eagles. I think they're a phenomenal franchise. I think they're a phenomenal team from top to bottom, offense, defense, and special teams. However, we saw against the commander, Sam Howell, dicing them up left, right, and center, and taking them to overtime. They should have gone for two. Commanders should have gone for two, and that's bad ball, but they're going to get in the film. They're going to watch all that. People sleep on the Rams. People don't realize, who's, who's my boy? Who's Akuna Matata? What's his name? Puka. Puka. Puka Nakua. Nakua. <clears throat> Guy's got like 50 receptions in the first four weeks of the season. He's got 500 plus yards. They, they also, when Cooper Cup went out, everyone's like, dead, gone. They, they're, their quarterback's too old. They're not going to be able to handle it. I'm going to take the Rams here at plus four and a half. I think it's a great game. I think they're a solid team. I think this is going to be one that we might possibly be looking at an upset for. Gekka, who you got in this game? Rams, 3-0-1 oh, against the spread. Number two in total offense when it comes to yards and passing, I believe. Mm -hmm. A top 10 defense in yards and passing. Bakuna Matata, they're traveling to LA, the Eagles. I'm taking Rams plus four and a half. And Mule, I hope you are the other way. Because I, I don't like the juju if we're all literally on the same page these first two games. I, are you going to say that? I don't why, like why? it. I don't like it. I might actually switch if he goes Rams. No, look, I man, honestly, I was... The way both of you spoke about that so beautifully, I almost, I almost switched. I picked up the pen, and then I was like, fuck no. 
There we go. I don't go against the Eagles. Talk to us, I baby. I told y'all that before. It's Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. There's no way. It's no way. I love the Rams, too. Don't get me wrong. I love the L.A. Rams. I once, listened, I once lived in L.A., so I get it. But I just can't go against them boys, them flying Eagles. It's going to bring it to the Rams. I'm taking Rams minus four and a half. Wait. I mean, Eagles. I'm t- <laughs> they there almost got me. I'm taking Eagles minus four <laughs> they and a half. They almost got me. They almost got me. You see the Pomona. You see the Pomona up there. <laughs> they, they, There's they a reason. I'm taking Eagles. You're taking the Eagles with Jamal out? Yeah, I'm taking hey, the let Eagles. Him, let him, let I'm him. taking the Eagles. Let them. I, I'm taking it. I can't go against the Eagles. I've done it before, and I lost because of it. You know, I try to follow you guys. I just think the Eagles are going to be four. What is it? Um, four and zero or five and zero? It's week five Shut of the NFL. Five and zero. Yeah. So they will be five and zero after this week. You don't think Jamal's a big loss? No. At all. That's okay. Let him have it. He went 11 and two last week. He has all the right to say whatever he yeah, wants. He Do we disagree with you? Yes. Is it going to be? Is it going to turn out bad for you? Probably. But at the end of the day, we're all here I to support each other. Week. No bad opinions here on Slips and Picks 500, unless you're wrong, which we'll find out next week. <laughs> this one right here is going to be a toughie for a couple of individuals sitting at this desk. <laughs> Titans at Colts. The Colts are favored at a point and a half. Now I'm going to turn it to somebody that doesn't have the the most bias, and that is going to be Gecko. How are we feeling about this game, brother? I think it's a toss-up. I think I'm going to tail, uh, I might tail the mule. Okay. I would love to hear what your thoughts are, mule. Man, honestly, Titans at the Colts. Um, I'm going to have to go Titans, plus one and, one and a half this game. I can't say nothing. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not even going to speak on the, on the team, on the players or nothing. All we need to do is just win, Titans, just win. End of the day, just win. So I'm going Titans, plus one and a half. And that's it. Could you imagine if that was the speech in a locker room? Just win. And it just clicked for everybody. Like, fuck, that's all we got to do? <laughs> we just, just got to go out there and win? Let's just, just score more points than them? Win. Did you imagine? They're just like, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Are you tailing that? No. No. <laughs> I'm going Colts. Just I got Colts. Everything data-wise says go Titans. Not Titans are 5-0. Oh. Not all the data. Titans are 5-0 and oh in their last five. Titans 3-1 and one against their spread this season. They will be playing. I, you know, you got to stop Derrick Henry. He got rolling last week. But they will be seeing loaded boxes with Gus Bradley's cover three defense. But I am going with the Colts because I think Anthony Richardson, he's just going to keep getting better. And I, I like the Colts. I can't go with my heart in this one. I got to go Colts. I got to go with the instinct. If you look at teams or the Titans versus mobile quarterbacks, to st- statistically they have a lot of success. They have a lot of success against mobile quarterbacks. Mike Vrabel does a good job Just of take the coordinated you're, rushes you know you're going with and tights. keeping guys in the pocket when they can beat you with their feet. What does our brain tell us right now? Our brain tells us that the Titans are Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You have no idea who you're going to get week in and win out. They play terrible against the Saints. The next week they look phenomenal. The week after that they get dummied. And it's just back and forth, back and forth. And so my heart, my heart says Titans. My brain is telling me Colts. But I reached out on the bird, a guy named Joe Lemming. I have to give him a shout out. 1,057 days. 1,057 days since the Colts have beaten the Titans. And I have to go with my heart. I'm going to take the Titans plus one and a half here. Um, not gonna be, I'm not going to be phased by whatever you wrote in there. Am I in a bit of a blender right now? Yeah, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep moving forward. Let's talk about the game of the week. If you grew up in the 90s. And you sat down on a Sunday afternoon, possibly, you know, 90% of the NFC championships, you would watch the Cowboys versus the 49ers. And we got two teams that are legitimate contenders. We got Cowboys at Niners. The Niners are favored at three and a half. Who wants to take this one? Oh, there he is. So we got Dak versus Brody. And I'm a Brody kind of guy. You get what I'm saying? So... I'm going 49ers, baby. 49ers minus three and a half. I don't think they're going to get it done. They got the great white hope. They got Debo over here taking chains. They got, um, Uh-oh. man, they got other guys out there. <laughs> <laughs> man, they got dudes out there. They got Kittle doing this thing. I wasn't going to forget about Kittle. I was thinking about somebody else in there. But my man Kittle, you know I ain't going to forget Williams. about you. Williams? Trent Williams? 
Brandon Ayuk, Fred Warner. That's what I'm saying. They got too many guys we can Nick name. Nick Bosa, we all, Fred Warner. It's just, it's going to be a great game. I know Dallas has, has been putting on a show, but Dak, against that defense, I'm sure he's going to throw a few picks, baby. So I'm taking 49ers Greenwell? minus three and a half. <laughs> Who you got, Gecko? I'm going Cowboys. I'm going Cowboys. I know CMC, George Kittle, big friends of the show. Uh, Juice. Which show? Big friends of the show, busting with the boys. Are they gamblers? Are they what? gambling in the NFL? They're watching this show and gambling in the NFL? No, no. Big friends of the show, <laughs> busting with the boys. the boys. They might watch. You can consume our content. You should absolutely. Should they do not consume it. They do not do this. But I like the Cowboys. Three and two in the last five versus the Niners. They're 3-1 against the spread. Their offense is a machine. Seventh in rushing, fourth in points. They're converting 52% on third down. And they're the number one scoring defense in the NFL, only allowing an average of 10.3 points. Second in total yards. Second in passing. Only allowing 30% on third down, which is fourth in the league. I like the Cowboys to get one on the Niners. The Niners are too pretty right now. They're too pretty. They're too pretty, and I think they get taken down. They're nothing... They have, the, they have the most talent in the NFL. Yes. They, they do. They're too pretty. pretty. Them, they're yeah. pretty. They get after it. They, yeah. If you talk to the guys yeah. in the 49ers, the guys we've already talked about, the McCaffreys, the Kittles, the Warners, there is not a locker room probably better in the entire NFL. Those guys support everyone. Uh, George Kittle was on Bustle with the Boys this week wearing a Chris Zinn McCaffrey hat. He was. Not yeah. a lot of guys do that. Nope. I will say this. All those stats are beautiful. The D Cow Dallas Cowboys defense are probably going to have some sort of a say in this game. Their special teams will have some sort of a say in this game. But I'm going to tell you something. I was getting a little pumping on Tuesday afternoon. I walked into the locker room, and I saw a big, shiny forehead, a receding hairline. It was Stephen A. Smith, and he brought up a great point. That Dak Prescott has four touchdowns in the season. He only has four oh, touchdowns boy. in the season. Josh Dobbs, Sam Howell, C.J. Stroud, and Anthony Richardson all have more touchdowns than Dak Prescott. I agree. They're an elite defense. They've got a phenomenal special teams. However, at some point in this game, it's going to come down to Dak Prescott. Can he do it? Can he put the ball in the end zone? They're fourth in the league at, in scoring. I don't They're still think they scoring. Can. They're still converting on and third down I over 50% of the time. don't think can. You saw the game management back in the playoffs. Oh, you pulled from two years ago? I'm just saying. Same crew's there. Yep. Like, what are we learning? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, taking, I'm taking the Niners at my, uh, minus three and a half. Don't forget what the data was, was like last week. Bills Brother, Dolphins. You are. Bills you're, Dolphins. You're, this is you a totally are a different game. You're right. And <laughs> hey, Bills Dolphins, you, we, I, I should have known. That was, I, I led I, my yeah. clients into a bad situation. I, with the Bills I just went off the, the points. You know what it was, week, dude? Rose colored, rose colored glasses. Yeah. Drink the Kool Aid. Yeah. Got all excited. Hey, yeah. 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 Mike yeah. McDaniels yeah. and his little antics running off at halftime and yeah. stuff like that. It got me, dude. It pulled me in like an amusement park. The speed and guess who was holding Teddy Bear at the end of the game? Man. Not me. Listen, phenomenal first segment of the, of the show. Phenomenal. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to do the Bet the Boys Index Parlay. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, a couple of Swifties trying to learn a couple of things, I'm going to tell you that's when myself, Gecko, and the meal are all going to put a little parlay together, and we're all going to bet that thing and make sure we win, as Meal would say, units on units. We'll be back right for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a break from this beautiful broadcast to bring you Factor. Mm, with the busy fall season just around the corner, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit and can help you feel up fast with chef-prepared, dietary-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. Too busy with your end of summer goals to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trips to the grocery store and chopping and prepping and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutri nutritional quality you need. Head to factormeals.com slash slips50 and use code slips50 to get 50% off. That's code slips50 at factormeals.com slash slips50 to get 50% off. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, back to this beautiful episode. Welcome back to the Slips and Picks 500. We are now going to get into our Bet the Boys Index Parlay. That is when we're all going to pick player props, bundle them up together, and give you something special to root on during week five of the NFL season. Uh, Gecko, 
You want to kick us off, brother? I'm going. Sorry, tap, tap, tap. Yeah, yeah, no taps. No Can't taps. taps. No taps. No Producers taps. in the back, we're in a commercial break. He's like, hey, stop tapping so much. Kirko Thuggins, we're back in action. The, the boy is balling. Let's go, babe. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they're playing the Chiefs. They got to have it. And they might upset KC this week. GTA. Can't happen. There we go. It can't they happen. might. They might. It can't happen. We act like Minnesota Vikings ain't good. I mean, yeah, they're 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 they have talent on their team, but their record does not reflect that they're good right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But, but you gotta know, you gotta. But like, we're not talking about teams. We're talking about player prop bets and Kirk. Kirk, Kirk he does it yeah. every week for you. Yeah, Kirk Cousins over one and a half touchdowns. And if if you if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That is perfect. As we segue into the mules, bet the boys index parlay. We saw where he's going the last couple of weeks. It would be insanity to go any other way. Mule, who you got this week? You going back with the Great White Hope? Man, I'm gonna let the Great White that Hope soul train. No, no, I'm gonna build let it the, out. Build I'm it let, out. I'm we got Kirk. I'm gonna let him have a break. You know what I'm saying? He been carrying this squad, so I'm gonna let him have a break. It's it's a bye week for him this week. Not really, but it is for me and him. Uh, so I'm gonna go. Amon Roy or Ray Ra. Oh God. Amon Ra St. Brown, uh, over 54 and a half I'm point Roy? yards. <laughs> St. Joy? Brown. Amon Joy. Amon Joy St. Brown. That's what it should be because it's when you watch them, it's candy. like having an Amon Joy. It's just good, you know what I mean? A bottom tier candy. Yeah, it's, it's debatable. Good. It's just good. Coconut yeah, almonds. It's, yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's just good. Tell me this: you went trick or treating as a kid, you're in Pomona. I'm you go trick or treat as a kid, and you get an almond joy. Oh, you're hyped up. I'm hyped up. You're a psychopath. You know why? There's a there's a flock of murders across the United States that you are the responsible for. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. I grew up in the hood. We don't buy almond joy. So when you get almond joy, that is what a treat. What are you treat. buying the hood? What, what you in the hood? talking about? What you in the hood? I oh, thought you really? came from the field. Your words, no, not mine. His that's words, the same not thing. Mine. Hood, field, same shit, all the same. It's so actually what, like what literally what opposites, got, I think. What we got was, you remember them yellow butter scotch cook uh, uh, candies? The little, yeah, those are also fire. Yeah, you uh, go to the dentist office and get some of those? Yeah, the yellow wrapper? Yeah, the doctor's office? Yeah, office? your grandparents' house? Yeah, yeah, them the terrible. Little caramels. Fire. Yeah, that's what we got. Those are delicious. Hands full of them. Yeah, I don't want fire. that. No, the Almond Joy tops that 100. You remember the little strawberry ones? That I like, like the strawberry, strawberry ones with the, with the, with the green on top the and you oh, yeah, twist I it. I love those. Crushing that thing. I love those. It was like the OG Gushers. Yeah, I love those. That shit was kind of fire, right? That little entertainment in your mouth. But get back to it. It's kind of a bit of a surprise. St. Brown over 54 and a half yards. And I know he's going to get it done. They playing the Panthers. The Lions is looking good. They're going to throw the ball to him. So check me on that. What y'all think? Hey, I, uh, I scribbled mine up. The, uh, I can't I like believe. that pick. I, I like, like that the that pick, pick, but I can't he's believe consistent. you're walking away from the I great know, white hope. I know, I know. He's setting records. I feel like every, every what, what, 12 games in a row? 13 games? 13 games in a row. He, I mean, On he's, Spooktober. I know I 13. can always come back to him. The 13. man is the, the truth. I know that for a well, fact. Well, I'm changing, I'm changing my... Uh, my parlay. I'm going. I'm going. Great White Hope. Anytime touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. I book that. It. I like it. We got another uh oh Oreo on our hands. Uh, yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we. But do. But that's a good one. I li I like yeah. yours a lot. Yeah. I think butter. yours is solid. A little peanut butter. A little peanut butter. Well, peanut butter. Nah, what you mean? Yeah, he because he light skinned. Yeah, he's light skinned. Yeah. He ain't that light skinned, is he? He not that light. I mean, is he light enough to say peanut butter? Uh, I don't think he the type of dude that would call himself peanut butter. Probably not. What do you think he, he don't look like it. You don't think so? I'm enjoying for sure. You think he's got some coconut inside of him? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Side by side. I don't know about that. You say what? That, yeah. yeah. That's, you put up a peanut butter uh, container right next to that photo. That's oh, it's, it's definitely yeah, I was wrong. twins. I was wrong. I thought it was much darker than that. Especially the blue Skippy uh, one. <laughs> 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 Dude. All right, that was our uh, player prop bets. We're now going to go segue into are ETFFs, that is the easy team favorite fun. Now, same thing we just do with player props. We're now gonna take favorites, we're gonna bundle that together in a parlay, make something nice and juicy. Um, I'll go first. I had a big spiel about it, and they've done it for me three weeks in a row. I'm going 49ers money line on this thing. It's not the safest bet on this sheet. However, when they pull through, we'll be, we'll be, all, we'll be all really excited about it. Can I help you with something? What are you doing? I think it's a great bet. I was looking up who the Dolphins play, but then I realized it doesn't matter who the Dolphins are playing. I'm going <laughs> Dolphins, they're favorite at minus 11. We're moving it down to six and a half to hedge a little bit. Dolphins, minus six and a half to add to that. And I do not necessarily love the 49ers money line, but I understand that that's what we have to do here. Can I tell you something? That's solid. 
I like that one a lot. Like I like that. how you did with the six and a half, too. Yeah. I like how you did that's that. What we, that's what we put him on last week when he's yeah. like, Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. You don't bet against the Eagles. I'm taking them with the spread. He would have lost. You're right. We saved his life. And we saved your life. I just, I, you I just when, I, when you guys make good yeah, But you good know arguments. the way you started the show. Huh? You know the way you started the show. Oh, I was, yeah. Cut you in shit. the corner there for a second. No, I wasn't talking about y'all, though. I wasn't you talking about y'all. Hey, I wasn't talking about y'all. Yeah, hey, it sounded like you kind of were. I said other people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I used the word honky, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Did you guys hear it? I think he said turtleneck honky. What is that? Yeah. <laughs> no. Did you say turtleneck honkies? Don't know that word, guys. I'm taking a I lot of fashion risks word. right now. I can't, I can't handle that type of thing. Mule, who you got? Y'all know I'm going Lions. But they got Lions versus the, the Panthers, right? I'm taking Lions minus nine. And Doug. This is an easy team favorite fun. You're lucky. I talked to the producer before the show. I showed him the sheet. I said, my man's going minus nine in the Lions. Go ahead and put the dead on money line. We're saving you again. But see, the money line, I don't make, you don't make units, though. I get it. We're back. Hey, I get we're it. We're back. We're but back. you got to do money line. I know. I get it. We, we don't got... have to. I, I'm not doing money line. I'm just moving it down to six and a half. But that's what I did last week. You, had to, you were a much bigger favorite than just minus nine. Yeah. That's you, the line. You got to do money line. Nah, you, no, no. You, we'll, you, you changed George yeah, because you moved George down. You're like, right. If I'm so I do, line, I'll do money line. You're right on this on, one. Or move to two and a half. No, I'm not moving. Stick with me. Just against the Panthers. Move it to minus. To if you like, hang on. Better. Odds. But then it makes the units. I don't get a. I don't get a great return on my units. Right, though. right. So hang on. I know give you're those, excited about give the Give me line. those intern real quick. The numbers when you put in uh, Niners money line, Dolphins minus six and a half, and let me get Lions do money line. It's so be plus two I, something. you wanted yeah. to go Lions minus nine because you get more units yeah. out of that. Yeah. You could still move it down to two and a half, and you'll still get more units than just going Lions money line. If we you think it, they're gonna win by minus nine? We're trying to talk you down just because, like, let's just make sure we're getting a sure thing. Yeah, yeah. I Taking mean, the full spreads a little tight. Minus nine is a big one. Because we all gotta agree on this one, so I'll take money line just so. Minus we can. two and a half. Minus two and a half. They're, they're gonna win by a field goal. They're gonna win by a field goal. We'll, okay, we'll move it to minus two and a half. Yeah. If you're really strong on the points, you can even go minus wait, wait six. Wait up. Let me ask. Let me ask the mob, <coughs> my intern, Steven. <laughs> intern, what, Steven. What, what do you think? You go minus two and a half. It's plus one. Yell it. Yell it. Plus one ninety. Dolphin if you six go and money a half. Line, money line. Money line is plus one ninety. And what if it's? If, what if you move Lions to minus two and a half instead of money line? I got plus one seventy three on that. So it's more if we do money line. No, because we're putting it together in a parlay, yeah, it allows us to, it, it makes it plus odds. Yeah, he said it was one, if he did money line, it was plus 190. He just said it would be plus 176. Yeah, that's confusing Different apps. Yeah, I don't know if that's the... What's your say, what's your say on the adjustment, yes. Jack? Uh, it won't only get a plus or a minus two and a half, but minus three with the lines puts it plus 348. Oh. Oh. That's dangerous. That's that's that is beautiful. You I like, like that? that. I like that's that. That's good work. I like that. Plus Goodness. three. That's good work. Dude, plus three and a half. Or minus, three. Three. Minus, three. minus three. Yeah. Minus three. Yeah. Scares me. That scares me. Let's do that. I like that. That makes me nervous. Uh, that's a nice parlay. That is a hey, nice is, parlay. I'm ready to ride. You I'm ready. ready. To ride? I, you the ready Lions is gonna win this game no matter <laughs> what. Huh? Enter. Enter. What did you say? You heard me the first time. <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What were you saying before? This parlay is on you now. It is really on me. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking a big risk because I'm not only when our buy and sell going with the Niners, but I'm also taking the money line here. Yeah. Like this is gonna make or break essentially my entire week. But I do feel confident in the Niners. I feel very confident in the Niners. Um, how we feel, boys? That was actually a good. The segment right now. Yeah. I like that. You one. like yeah. that? Oh, yeah. yeah that you, was, a little that risky. Risk keeps you young. A little risky, yeah. but I, yeah. And it's really on me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. And I'm willing, I'm, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's all, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's really, it's on all of us. Like, yeah, this I mean, thing's still got to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. But you guys show have the play. best odds right now. <laughs> and that's yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm, I'm good with it. <laughs> We're going to take a break. Uh, when we come back, we are going to be talking. Let me take a little ooh, pump or dump segment. I believe your boy went undefeated in that one. We'll be right back after these spooky messages. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. You ever open the door on the beautiful fall day to that crisp breeze kissing your cheeks and can't help but smile? 
Maybe you look up and see orange and brown leaves floating gently down to the ground and can't help but feel that brooming yours go from six to midnight. If you've thought to yourself, yes, that's me in both of those situations, you have the case of Spookaucus. No, no, not to worry. Spookaucus is a good thing. We just got to get you to fully embrace Spooktober, the best month of the year. Look at this guy. Look at the size of his broomstick. Intimidating, right? Don't worry about that. Be proud of your own broomstick. But what you need to do is follow him to store.barstoolsports.com slash bustin' with the boys for all of your Spooktober merch, no matter the size of your broomstick. So go now, store.barstoolsports.com forward slash bustin' with the boys. Embrace the spook. Welcome back to Slips and Picks 500. Our segment now is going to be Pump or Dump. That is when I give these gentlemen a team with the, um, uh, the amount of points, and they're going to say pump, which they're taking the over, or they're going to dump it, which means they're taking the under. First game we're going to look at is the Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Bills in London. Now, something to think about before we get into this game. Jacksonville has spent the week after dominating the Atlanta Falcons in London. Technically, the Bills are the home team, but they have traveled. So there's a lot to look into that. The number on that game is 47 and a half points. Mule, what you want to do, brother? What was your logic on, on London games? My logic? Yeah. They're not great. They're, they're not fun. They don't score a lot, right? That is true. And yeah. the under did hit last week. So I am going to dump. <laughs> <laughs> I did go undefeated, and that's a smart move. So we got Mule <laughs> taking a big dump. Got it. Gecko, I feel like he's up to something. What's he about to cook right now? I should have listened. I should have listened to that advice. Jaguars did beat the hell out of the Falcons. They scored, what was it, 20 something points, yeah? Dominated on defense, too. And the Bills All are nice. The room. Bills are nice in. The Bills are just nice on offense. I, I, this is a high one. Pump. Pump. <laughs> Pump. <laughs> You got a pump! Ooh. I like the pump. I like the root for touchdowns. You like that one? Not in London. I love it. <laughs> Man. What are you going? It's you scary. taking your advice? It's scary because the Jags did seem like they caught a little bit of fire on offense. They played really well on defense against Atlanta. Obviously, the Bills have a better offense than Atlanta's offense. And defense. You could easily see points <laughs> happening here. I just have, it's just so hard to think about traveling. And it's usually sloppy. Yeah. Inflammation, jet lag, the whole thing. <laughs> the practice. Pump field. and dump now. Get in, get off, get out. Pump or dump. I'm pumping this game. Oh, so pumpsy. I'm pumping this one. All righty. All right. Two pumps and a dump. All right. Let's move on to Texas at Fal uh, Texans at Falcons. 41 and a half is the number. Gecko, we're going to start with you on this one. Pump. We're going pump city in this one, too. Yeah. I like Texans. I like Falcons, the uh, GBOT. They're in Atlanta. They're back home. They're licking their wounds. They're a little pissed off that they didn't beat the Jaguars over in London. The Texans got a squad. CJ Stroud, he is nice. We are, uh, we're pumping this game. We're pumping this game, you'll check. Over to I you, will over to you. also be pumping this game, dude. It sickens me that C.J. Stroud is good only because he's an Ohio State guy, but he's putting up numbers like crazy right now. He's taking care of the football. I do believe the Falcons are going to be in a GBOT. People are ripping Arthur Smith right now. Get Kyle Pitts involved. Get, get more than just B. John Robinson involved. He's probably listening. You know he watches the show. You know he's listening. to uh, Art. Just get the boys involved. We'll get more points in the part, on the board. I got you, baby. Well, I'm going to go pump on this one as well. Mule, where are you going, baby? <clears throat> Man, I, you know, like you said, I like CJ. He's from the hometown. I think he's going to score a lot of points, but I'm not sure about the Falcons. I watched last week. The boy, the receiver, was ready to squabble up the quarterback because he can't get him the ball. Oh, you're talking about a long-haired kid. Yeah, <laughs> ready to get, get away from those. me. Get, what get you away say? from me. You know I love you, though, Art, but I'm going to have to dump this game. I just don't think it's going to be... One team may put a lot of points on the board, the other team probably not. So Who, Who's putting the low points on the board? The Falcons. Man. I, I don't still like love you, though, Art, but I'm up. just... Don't sound like it. Huh? I oh. feel like it is going to be a low no, game. You can hear it. Texas is going to do their thing. You think so? Oh, yeah. They're they going to fire right you now. You feeling they confident? Yeah. I'm you feel confident, confident in that one? 
Yeah. Tell me how you confident you feel about Chiefs at Vikings, 52 and a half. Well, I was going to let yeah. one of y'all answer that one. <laughs> no, you're the big dog. <laughs> you're, so hey, you're the big dog. You're last week. You're uh, the king. Go ahead. Uh, we should have asked hey. you for everything. Damn. This is a tough one because the Chiefs, man, honestly, the Chiefs haven't been playing so great. I don't, uh, they don't look like the last year Chiefs. They look like the Taylor the Swift Chiefs. Chiefs, the Swifter Chiefs, glittered up and uh, dancing around Chiefs. But at the end of the day, the Vikings do have high power guys on, on, every time, on the offensive side that's going to throw the ball, like he said, Kirk Cousins. Cousins, you know? <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, damn. What you trying? Who you talking to right now? Yourself? Yeah. Absolutely. You're trying to talk to yourself. <laughs> yeah. yourself yeah. You can see it. I'm dumping. I did not see you going that way. Me neither. I just, I just had to Where switch at the last minute. I can't listen to myself. Honestly, I think this is the one dump. Because yeah. we have another game. I think this is the one dump. I just feel like when you look at these games, this game reminds me of like I think it was last year when the. Bills and the Chiefs are playing after like the AFC Championship from the year before that when it was like just high-powered offenses flying back and forth and everyone's expecting so many points so the numbers are put up really high yep. and then you see that game with the Bills and the Chiefs and it's like it was more of a defensive struggle sloppiness with the ball I just feel like in this game I mean you're, you're we're getting two touchdowns from the Vikings we know that because Kirk Cousins is gonna throw two we need that yeah yep. Mahomes is gonna put two so that's 28 points right there. I just think this is. This Can we is a pump lot. or dump? Uh, yeah, I feel like y'all got to talk yourselves into some of these answers. Go ahead. What are you doing? <laughs> One more answer. It's a pump. We're pumping all three. All three. I'm rooting all for the over. I'm rooting for touchdowns. I'm rooting for bombs. I like the pump. That's some fan betting. Yes. That's fan betting. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you're pumping all three games. I'm pumping all of them. I dumped all three last week. I'm pumping right. all of them. <laughs> All right. You say you dumped all three and you're right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying this is. I'm pumping. I love it. This is it. You you said uh, Vikings. Who'd you say? Oh, Bills, Chiefs. But also, what about? I was what, with you on two. What, what about Bills, uh, Vikings last year? That was a pump. That was Pump City. Pump City. <laughs> yeah, that was Pump City. We, so we got dump, dump, pump. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pumping. Uh, I love it. Before we had a commercial break, let's talk about the underdogs, the dog, dog, dog segment. That is when we were in a pick. Underdogs with a massive upset. Who wants to go first? Who wants it? Knock it out. Knock it out. Set the tone. You got it. Gecko, what you got? No, set the tone. <laughs> what you got, brother? Set the tone. What you got? What do you know? Cardinals, money line. I like him winning. I like this game. I like the Cardinals. I like Dobbs. I like Dobbs, and he's operating. They're who good. They they're efficient. Doesn't matter who they play. We're taking the Cardinals money line. Cardinals. He doesn't know who they play. The Bears. The Bears? Oh, yeah. That's and that's a that's an underdog. Yes, bro. The, the Cardinals are underdogs are just... versus the Bears. Look it up. Huh? Bengals. The Bengals. Stay, same. It's the. the what's the oh, difference? That's different. Yeah, that's different, but it's still they're still an underdog. I yeah, mean, but it's different than the Bears. But what's the spread on there? Is it like a hat one and a half, like two and a half? That's like that don't makes it. No, I think they were, they were three and a half. Three yesterday and a half? I look. Oh, okay. Yeah, three and a half. Oh, that's okay. Come on, I'm not doing the Seattle Seahawks <laughs> minus <laughs> odds underdog. <laughs> yeah. The minus the minus. <laughs> the I know. Look, I know you guys are not going to like this. Week on my bet. Especially not this. Yeah, guy, favorite Gekko. team hit. I know Gecko is not going to like this bet. I'm actually going Jaguars versus the Bills. I'm taking the Jaguars money line. They are playing in London. I feel like the Jaguars are already there. They've been there since last week. The Bills have to fly in. They're going to have jet lag. They're going to be tired. They got to play in a wet, sticky, stinky situation in London. So I'm taking the Jaguars money line, baby. But if my fans don't feel safe about that, the guys who follow me, you can take that spread. That's uh, plus five and a half if you just want to be safe, either or. But money line will get it done, and that is a plus 210. Remember that. Right now the money line is plus 210? Yes. I mean, Texas, are, that's, a, that's a solid pick. That's good. No, he, no, he didn't I, pick Texas. no, I picked the Jaguars. I thought you went. I, I took yeah. that out. Okay. Because, look, that's just not, a, that's not really an underdog. Like, it's an even on them. I don't like the even looks. 
That don't make it an underdog. <laughs> I'll take that all day. I'm going to take that Texans plus one and a half. But I'm that's going not an them. underdog. It's like they eat It is, technically. Why are we switching up our picks here? It says we can. Because it's our show. We <laughs> do whatever we want, baby. <laughs> you got the that's a beautiful thing about creativity. You just grab it. You bundle it up in the ball, and now it's yours. Yeah. I'm going to take the Texans. <laughs> don't. I'm going to take the Texans. Yeah, uh, you, okay. Commanders are there as well. Commanders money line. The commanders are favored by six and a half points. You are out of control with these uh, picking, <laughs> picking favorites to win this underdog. Did I say I was taking the commanders? No, but that's what's on the sheet. You yeah. lucky he moved away. You, you know what that is? You know that's called? It's called a typo. It's called our producer is mess, messing up on a little docu sheet because anybody can get in that thing, go and change whatever they want. Seems like it might even be you doing that. So. <laughs> Did you do that? No, I didn't oh, do that. I'm sitting here looking. That's, 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 that's why I wanted to get that one place. That's why you wanted to get that place. That's why you wanted to get that place. That's why you wanted to get that place. That's why you wanted to That's wild. I was like, hey. I was like, go Band of Brothers, maybe you yeah, should watch this sometime. Nah, Check your dude. six, boys. Sometimes your boys are going to try to get you. You moved off. And he's I'm like, not right, going commanders. I'm going Texans plus one and a half. It's wild to me that my man just tried to sabotage. Wild We have fun on the show. We have fun on the show. Texans plus one and a half. It's not a favorite. It's a favorite. It's not a... Shut the fuck up. We're going Texans plus one and a half. Hit last week. It's going to hit this week. We'll see on the stat sheet, brother. Next up, we're going to talk about Monday Night Football right after a commercial break by the most comfortable apparel you can possibly wear, Muggsy. Tired of wearing the same old bullshit? Not anymore. Muggsy, the most comfortable jeans, chinos, and joggers ever. They stretch. They're flexible. They're the softest pants ever made, but they look absolutely amazing. Over 17,000 reviews from dudes of every shape, size, and color. Head to Muggsy.com and get 10% off now using code SP500. That's 10% off the only jeans and pants you will ever wear again. Use code SP500. Welcome back to Slips and Picks 500. We are now going to talk Monday night football. Boys, we're looking at Packers minus 2.5 versus... The Las Vegas Raiders, and that number is at 44 and a half points. Let's jump right into it. Packers, a couple of stumbles the last couple of weeks, came back against the Saints two weeks ago, but we really don't know who Jordan Love is. We at first we thought he was gonna be phenomenal. Now we're wondering, oh, he's showing, you know, he doesn't have the experience that the last quarterback obviously had there. The Raiders, unfortunately, seeming abysmal. They have a phenomenal GM. A lot of people are hating on the head coach. Everybody so, calling for his head. Everybody yeah, calling for his head right now. Yeah, definitely. Scary, scary stuff. I see Mar but Marcus Peters liked a little Instagram post. Yeah, <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, shit. he did. He's he really? not well out there in Vegas. So. Got a, got one of their DNs and in, in jail for a little bit. He's he's going live a little too much. It's it's a it's a, it's a whole bunch of things going on with the Raiders. But let's talk this game, Mill. Let's. Uh, where are you going? I'm going Packers minus two and a half. I don't even know the Raiders quarterback name. Garoppolo? He's hurt. Not him. O'Connell? Number four. Yeah, O'Connell. Yeah. That 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 part right there. Packers, minus two and a half. I think Love gonna get it done this week against the Raiders. I know it's in Vegas, so them guys, you know, they're gonna step their game up, probably hit the casino table, get lucky there, and then get lucky on Sunday. So I'm excited. I mean, uh, Monday night. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty tough to see the Raiders last week, right? Chargers. Yeah. Chargers, tough team. Khalil Mack. They were right six there. Sacks. They were right six there. I think he had six sacks six. last year. Six. And the sacks. Raiders were still in it. Yeah. They just got picked there at the end. They just they what they got to do was it was in it. But this is a different team. I feel like Green Bay a little little better on defense. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Other than having yeah. Khalil Mack. Aaron Jones coming back too. He didn't have a great week in fantasy last week. He didn't. But <laughs> I expect him to have a better week this week. Dude, this is a tough one. I'm going the Raiders, plus two and a half here. I think they're going to look at the film. They're going to protect a little bit better, throw some chips, get the ball out quickly, run the ball efficiently, handle the time of possession, and get out with a, with a dub. But I'm still taking a plus two and a half. <laughs> Just so we're clear. Just so I we're like that. Clear. I like that pick. I truly, uh, you know, your boy, I want the silver and black. Of I course. want the silver and black. The coolest I'm going, but good. I am going Packers. I'm going Packers minus two and a half. I'm also going to take the under. Packers minus two and a half, under 44 and a half. It is in Vegas. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> You're taking the under, you said. I'm taking the under 44 yeah. and a half. 
I'm taking the under 44 and a half. I do think there's a lot of uh, I think there's a lot of noise right now, and I think that noise is seeping in. I think it's seeping in the locker room. I don't know. I hope the boys get back on track, but I don't see it being against the Packers. Packers minus two and a half, under like, 44. I'm gonna take, take that Packers? under too. I'm gonna yeah. piggyback off with uh, you Willie yeah, Gecko. I'm gonna take that under uh, 44 and a half. I didn't because I didn't bet that, at, but I'm gonna take that. That's a good bet. Solid bet. You going under? I kind of want to. Go under. Can I? We all can. Do you guys mind? No, not Just at all. jump on that bandwagon with you? Getting that under. I'm going to take the under as well. But I'm going Raiders. Yeah, you we You guys know. are both going yeah, Packers. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah. yeah we know. Right. It's okay to feel alone sometimes. <laughs> it's when better that way. That's when you grow. <laughs> that's what you want. That's what you, that's want. What you want. Yeah, you want that's that. what you want. That's what you, you want. Back against the wall. We can't thank you enough for joining us on week five of the NFL season of Slips and Picks 500. I am Chet Savage. This is Willie Gecko, and to the left of him is Theodore Mule Jenkins. Have a phenomenal day. Win those bets. Tell your friends. Subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe. Throw a pumpkin in the comment section, and we will see you next week. Do, 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 do. Back with the penny slips parlay, and guess what? We just came off a dub. We're back to our winning ways. Big dubs. Big dubs, man. It feels good. It's a lot like basketball. We were on a little bit, little bit of a losing streak, but you just got to see one go in. And now we're about to start this streak. JP, do you want to kick us off with the, uh, your first parlay of the week? I will kick us off. Last week didn't turn out too well. The Laporta parlay, not my thing. But I feel like I'm getting closer. And this week, I feel even better because when I plugged this parlay in about 20 minutes ago, the odds were plus 300. 20 minutes later, it's already going down to plus 222. So Vegas knows I'm onto them and they're trying to backtrack. Go ahead yeah. and sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Thank you, Washington, D.C. Now, my parlay Detroit Lions versus Carolina Panthers, money line. Miami Dolphins versus New York Giants, money line. San Francisco 49ers versus Cowboys, money line. And to wrap it up, the team that I do not know why, they keep getting disrespected last week and now this week, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Total, that's plus 222. I've never felt as confident as I do right now in a parlay. Talk to them. And I would be willing to bet my whole entire life on this one. Jack? You know the old saying, great minds think alike. JP and I both come into these parlays blind to what uh, the other will pick. So I'm going to give you my three-leg parlay, starting off with the Miami Dolphins. We've had them in a lot of parlays this year, and we will not stop until they show us other signs. And I'm taking them minus nine and a half, looking for a massive win against the New York Giants. They've looked horrible. We can admit it. All hail the New York Giants. New York Giants! Oh no! We suck again! Minus nine and a half. I'm also taking the Detroit Lions. Minus four and a half. And for my final pick of the three leg parlay, I'm taking my Tennessee Titans in Indianapolis money line. That is going to give you a total of plus 344 parlay. Go ahead and book it. Put everything you got on it. The thing about these parlays too is you, we don't have to win one and the other. You need to win one parlay, one for the week, and you cover all the units. So trust us, trust the models, trust the data, and we're going to move on to our team combined parlay. JP, start us off. Yes, we will continue exactly what we did last week, and we are going to start it off with the Bills versus the Jags. We're taking the Bills. I'm trying to think of a name of this, uh, it being the four best teams. The four best teams parlay. Bro, I don't know how you thought of that, but I'm I'm on that. I'm all over that. This is the four best teams parlay, and it's starting with the Bills. Lock. Lock. Second team of the four best teams parlay is the Eagles versus the Rams, and we're taking that as well as money line. The third pick of the four best team parlay is the Kansas City Swifts. Chiefs, Travis Kelsey, he's going to get back in the end zone this week. Don't worry, that's not in the parlay. We're just taking them to beat the Vikings. And the fourth and final leg of the four best team parlay 
is the San Francisco 49ers versus the Cowboys Sunday night football. We have a lot of diverse uh, in the schedule, too. We've got 8.30 a.m. slot in London, 2, 3 p.m. games, and the Sunday night game. So, God willing, we're going to get to that Sunday night game and have everything provided for the 49ers. I love it. The people love it. It's going to be a combined plus 374 odds. Right, moving on to our final segment of the week. JP, would you like to uh, explain what happened last week? Last week, I know what you all are thinking. Oh my gosh, the Rock'em Sock'em parlay didn't work. <laughs> You're wrong. If you go back and review the footage, it was a draw down to the millisecond. Both heads came up at the same time. We went with the Giants because off the naked eye, you can't see something within those details. But we reviewed it. It is a draw. Therefore, it's no. We are still undefeated in this pick'em. And we will continue to be undefeated in this pick'em. So, without further ado, the Rock'em Sock'em Pick'em Parlay of the Week. I believe we'll rock red with the Patriots, blue with the Saints. May the best bot win. The Patriots are washed. Data does not lie. It was always the Rock'em Sock'em Pick'em Parlay of the Week. We always say it, trust the data. We're undefeated. Trust the data. The Saints are marching in, and we are marching to the bank. Jack, cue the outro music. La, 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 la